हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक सर्च हेल्प एक्सिट एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन यू द सर्च हेल्प पैरामीटर्स I run the cell and I run the elementary search help, and I showed you the values of these parameters in the debugging mode. Now what I will do? Now I will take a collective search help and show you the values of these search help parameters because it will give more more clarity. Because in the previous case. we have only single search help we are running the elementary search help so shlp and shlp underscore tab both are same to same because our total number of search help and current search help is same to same now what i will do i will run a collective search help and then i will show you the values of these parameters so that it will give you more more clarity how these four parameters are behaving so i will take a collective search help so this is the collective search help which we created in a bab dictionary playlist if you do not have this you can simply refer the a bab dictionary playlist and create a collective search help now collective search help is combination of elementary search help or single search help so we have two elementary search help into this collective search help now same to same search help exit i will pass here also into this collective search help so i will go for our elementary search help and i will copy the name of search help exit i will copy the name of our search help exit and i will pass here also now i will activate this collective search help i will check breakpoint is there or not else i will put a breakpoint yes breakpoint is there now i will run this collective search help now this collective search help has a search help exit and i put a breakpoint so control will automatically stop there i will ignore this pop up now i will go for okay button and first point itself will give you the clear understanding so i entered into debugging mode i will go to desktop free and you can see now i will show you shlp tab and shlp whenever i double click on to shlp underscore tab have you seen i am able to see two records because we have two elementary search help previously when i in the previous video when i showed you at that time we have only one record here because we have single search help there now we have two search help so into this parameter shlp underscore tab we will get all the elementary search help this parameter is there or this parameter is for all the elementary search help if i will show you function module you can see the description itself now if i will go to this particular shlp underscore tab you can see it is a table of elementary search help and we have two elementary search help so this parameter is showing us two elementary search help and it is same to same which is in our collective search help in our collective search help these are our two in our collective search help these are our two elementary search helps this is our collective search help and you can see this two same to same elementary search help are available into this shlp underscore tab now i will show you this shlp parameter what is this shlp parameter it will give the detail of current search help now if i will double click here 
Now, if I will show you SHLP and you can see here we are getting the name of our collective search because we are going for running of our collective search help. So what is our current search help as of now? This is our current search help. After that, yes, we will go for first or second search help because whenever you will run the collective search help, then you are going for first elementary or second elementary. But as of now, yes, you are running the collective search help. Now I will show you this call control. You can see call control most important and the call control step is as of now cell one. Anyways, I will explain call control in very much detail. Now, if I will show you record underscore tab, zero record, zero record. Because you all know in the previous video, I told records always, always fill after the select. Now, I will do F8. Whenever I will do F8, you will get more, more clarity. SHLP tab, two records, two, yes. First search help, second search help. Now, if I will show you SHLP, you will get more, more clarity. Now, have you seen in SHLP, we got the name of our first elementary search help. Because after that, whenever you are running the collective search help, either first search help or second search help, third search help, fourth search help will be there. So now the control is on the first search help, first search help. And you can see what is call control step as of now, pre-cell one. I'm doing F8. Now, if I will show you SHLP, still we have the first search help. Because as of now, first search help, first has not displayed yet. Now you can see what is call control step. It is as of now preset. I will explain call control in detail. Now you can see record tab is still blank. Now I am doing F8. Now you can see we got our first now control is on our first search help. That's why you are getting first search help as current, current, yes. And we have two elementary search help. Now, whenever I will go for OK, now you can see call control step will become select. Now you can see SHLP, our current search help is first search help only. SHLP tab did not change because it has the list of all the elementary search help. And we have two elementary search help. And you can see what is call control step as of now, select. Select means after select, whenever I will do F8, this record tab will be filled. I will do F8. And you can see record tab has now 18 records. Now, after that, you can see control control step is now dis display. So we will now display the data. And have you seen 18 records displayed? Whenever I will select a record, you all know call control step will become now return, return. And you can see the same to same record step has now the one selected record. This is same to same previous thing. Now, same thing I can do for element second elementary search help also, which is in collective search help. So at that time, in this SHLP, we will get the name of the second search help. And that is the, this is the reason why I showed you in the debugging mode so that you will understand how SHLP tab is behaving and how SHLP is behaving. Because in the previous video, both are same. But now whenever you have multiple elementary search help, so both will behave differently. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you the values of the predefined parameters but in this video i showed you by running a collective search help in the previous video i showed you by running the single search help or elementary search help 
and I showed you the values in all the four parameters. In SHLP tab, we have all the elementary search helps. Whenever you are running for the first time, SHLP has the name of your collective search help. After that, it will move on to the current search help. Then it will display. If you will go to second search help, then SHLP will become the name of your second search help. In the next video, before starting with the practical part, I will explain this call control because by listening the last video and this video, people will confuse how call control is changing, what is the significance of call control step. It is extremely important and it will be explained in the next video. But the target of last video and this video is to understand these four predefined parameters which are the part of our search and exit. So that's it in this video. Thank you.